we're on another video now. Some of you will know we're just going to buy this Pajero, and a common problem with these is the tow hitch catches the door down here. So what's going to happen is, as you can see, it's quite low. When you open the door, you actually can't get in. And I flick this around so it's over the top because I have a f an off-road camper trailer. If I had it the other way, I wouldn't be able to get the jockey wheel down, so I have to have it this high. So what we've got here is a device which is going to lift this tire here about 50 mil up. So this video is about how to go about changing that, getting that wheel off, putting the uh, lift plate on, and getting some height above there. So first up, we're going to get this tow bar off, which is pretty straightforward. You're going to pull a safety pin off there, which I've done. This is out. Straight out. Easy peasy. Now we've got to get this off. Follow me. So on the back of the door, we need to remove these two little clips here. I'm using the whale brace, which is underneath the seat. We're getting here, we're going to extract two long bolts. So when the bolts are removed, we can then pull this open. Pretty straightforward. And here we have access to the wheel. What we want to do is remove these three bolts here. Take this off, put a mounting plate on there to lift that wheel 50 mil. But in order to do that, so that we can close this, we've got to remove this. So I'll do the wheel first, and then we'll move on to that. So I'll remove these three wheels, two, three wheel bolts. got this removed we're going to put the mounting plate on here which I'll get here so here is the mounting plate you see these three holes here will align with the three bolt holes you've just taken out it gives you then three studs that's where your original wheels were they're going to be lifted up by these now so I'm going to install that Key. Make sure these are nice and tight. Get in there, lock them on. So you can see now how that has effectively lifted your height of your wheels from here to here. Now you notice that we had bolts before, and now we've got these studs sticking out, so the kit comes with actual wheel bolts that you put on. So we'll hook the wheel back on here, clamp it on and then we'll see how we get the difference in height. All right, see I've lifted the wheel on to here. Done, but just a tip and advice, air pressure valve. Make sure that when you put the wheel on, the air pressure valve is up at the top here and not anywhere down at the bottom. Because if you put it down at the bottom, when this thing closes, you'll have no access to it and you'd have to keep opening it up. All right, we're gonna secure the wheel on with these that they were providing us with. If you remember, we removed them because the plate has come with threaded bolts, we have to put these on. Now here's another tip for you. These have got a little chamfer on them. And you gotta make sure that that sits right in the center of these holes here. If you just wind these on straight away, they will end up clamping against the aluminum of the rim. What you need to do is to make sure that when you thread these on, you guide the whole of the rim around that edge there. Otherwise, you're just gonna be clamping straight onto the metal of the rim which means that you're not going to get a proper fit, they'll probably shake loose, end up damaging your rims. So remember, feed these in, carefully, do it by hand, first of all, so I know that's tight and it's can't be, so I'm going to pull it back, jiggle it around, right, now I know it's slotted all the way through into the hole, so that's good. Repeat that for all three. Okay, I'm pretty confident that they've sent it to the hole, so now I'm going to use the um, wheel brace to tighten it all up. Nice and solid in. So now we've installed that, this is where our big problem comes in now with regard to this rear cover. 
See how now we cannot get this over here. We have to remove this top cover. It's a simple operation. All we've got to do is remove these four bolts here, and there's two little screws at either end here. So Phillips and screwdriver. Remove these four here. Keep them safe. We run along here. These are 10 mils. Pack 10 mil. Them. And then the four here. Two, sorry, the two here. So now we've removed one, two, three, four, taking these out here. This should now easily just slide off. Here it comes. Easily removed. Don't forget to remove these. These little studs here, they just slide out to the side. Slide out, slide out. Keep them to one side in case you ever want to put this back. So there you go, what we've done, we've lifted the wheel. We've removed the top trim. You would think now we can shut this. As you can see, it can shut. We've got the wheel above, it fits in. We've got the lift and you'd think that would be it. But it isn't. Because what the problem now is, is I'm going to show you a close up. This trim here now rubs against the wheel, here and here. So, what you have to do is to trim a small little edge of this off. So, yes, you're going to have to get a sharp knife or a Dremel onto your nice new car to trim a section of this because if you don't do that, even though that looks like it's shut, you can't align those long bolts that come through into here. You have to trim a little bit of this off. So, I don't know if this is going to come clear in the video, but you can see we push this against here. We're already down there it's pushing against it. I have already trimmed this just a little bit just to see how much more needs to go but I think we have to go all the way to this little edge here and nicely bring it around. You can see there's a line in the plastic there and then we'll bring it back in. So yes that has to come out. So I don't know how exactly how much needs to be trimmed off so I'm just going to go real steady here. There's no point rushing this job. So you can see only little pieces at a time. I do know that I have to go, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, to take this whole section off here, about three mil. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep working away, nice and steady, with the blade. People say use a Dremel. If you're comfortable with a Dremel, that's good. I'm happy with my blade. Just carefully shave that away, slowly, slowly. And then every now and again, go back, push it back in and see how the fit is in the camera. I'm also going to have to pull these two back a little bit as well and I may just remove that latch because that's just a securing point for that top piece that came over. So I could take that off, trim these two back, in particular this one, and carry on just doing little pieces and keep pushing it back in until you're ready. nice and easy there is no need to rush this because you don't want to ruin it okay nice and easy run it around you can see I've just trimmed off probably a couple of mil off there and now I'm going to check we're rid of the metals in the metal you can hear that noise now so we're good and just to finish it off to make sure you've got a nice nice smooth lines there just file it around Make it look like it was a professional job, because we're all professionals. So I can see there's a little wave there, which I don't like. So work in that space there. You notice I didn't take that off because it gives a nice line through there even though it's full. All right, there you go. There's now a gap between the tire and this wheel um, cover. Got to do the same on the other side. Not as much, but there you go. That's it, finished. Okay, so now at the other end, just trimming this line off. 
Again, I'm not particularly, I am, well, I'm very particular about it. The straight, nice lines will come in afterwards when I get the um, file onto it. So look, just running the blade, nice young here. And every now and again, checking that it fits in. It's got a tiny piece to take off here, so I'll follow this line around, to this edge piece, and then back in again. So I don't know which area I'm working in. Pretty happy with that now, got our line. A little bit rough. So I'm going to use a file just to get them nice smooth lines. Then after to finish it off. See, it's plastic. It doesn't take much. Let's see on the video. It's all nice and straight. Nice smooth finish line where the original big thick line was is there and then I just instead of it running around there into the tire I just cut a straight line to the edge and then ran around and then the big bit comes in. There you go, done. So there you go, we've removed it, put the new plate on, make sure that these bolts sit snugly through the holes, make sure your valve is at the top here and here's why. We've trimmed this to get it in and now it's just nice and tight there's your valve, so you can fill up the air pressure if you need to. Imagine if it was anywhere down here, you'd be pretty much stuffed and you'd have to open this every time. When you get on the inside and hopefully those bolts secure this in, we'll be just right. Two so spring bolts. There we go. Yep, there you go. They've located perfectly the first time. Tighten these in. Won't do it all now. That's what we're doing. This is the Mitsubishi one. Man, they are pants. Do something decent. Yeah. So there you have it. We are lifted, trimmed. In all reality, that probably took me a lot longer as I'm videoing. But I reckon the job would take half an hour of that. The test now is to put the bar on and see whether we can open the door. Tow hitch on. You can see it already. Bit good. Don't mind putting that in because I'm not actually towing right now. I assume we're doing all the right thing. Let's give it a try. Now, getting in the back of my car, with my tow hitch on, and my caravan on. <laughs> 